right, Leo, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of January 31st through February 6th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have action. It's number 17 and it shows like it looks like two wild horses um, just running through a field. Um, no, there's no saddles. Um, they might not necessarily be, I mean, they are like there is a gate, um, but they are in a large pasture, um, just free to run. Um, so I feel like that is what the energy is this week, Leo. There is some action that you're going to take, some sort of freedom that you're going to gain um, and just kind of be able to have like wide open space to run with. Okay, a challenge or obstacle that you might face this week, you have the Seven of Cups. A lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle, you have the High Priestess. And then outcome for the week, Leo, you have the Page of Cups. All right, so it looks like a challenge or obstacle you might face is that you have a lot of options. You could be feeling like overwhelmed, um, too many ideas, too many ways to go. Um, it could be like a lot of options being offered to you um, and you're not seeing them clearly or like for what it what it's for. So the seven, it is your cups. So cups are your love. Um, it's something you care for deeply. Um, it could be a partner, like a relationship, or this could be like, this can even be like your career if you are, are really focused on your work and that and that's what you love to do, um, something like that. And I feel like it's just a challenge or obstacle is that you're not able to see um, these options clearly. A lesson you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle, you have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is all about solving mysteries. Um, it's all about like secrets, um, things that you have to like discover or uncover, um, something like that. And so I feel like with this being in your lesson already learned, um, you have already um, kind of like you already know what choice to make. You already know if there is some secret hidden in here, like you already have a heads up kind of thing. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling from her. Um, she's also about intuition and trusting yourself. So it could be also saying that it's in your lessons already learned. You know to trust yourself. I feel like that's what it is. You know to trust yourself to make the right decision in these choices. You know that you need to see them clearly uh, for what they really are. The Seven of Cups is about like um, the saying goes, it's uh, n not everything that glitters is gold. So I feel like that is a message for someone. And then at the end of the week, the outcome, you have the page of cups. Again, cups are your love, something you really love, care about, um, something you love to do, um, your, your passion, your purpose, something like that. Um, but the page is very young. It's like a new love. It's new. Um, it, it's like a new position at work or a new uh, way to like volunteer or a new way to offer someone something and this could be an offer coming into you or this could be an offer that you're making to someone else and it could be after you choose what option you want here um you trust yourself your intuition then you offer someone this new beginning or this new offer of love and then for guidance we're going to use queen of the moon oracle and leo we're going to use two of them we'll do one for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week We've been doing this the past few weeks and it really uh, comes out really well. So let's see, guidance for Leo. You have trust. Um, so I, that's falling right on top of that intuition. Um, I do see 32 and two here. So I do feel like um, it's just saying to trust yourself, trust your gut. So clearly that's some guidance, really direct message for someone there. And then you have resilience. And this is someone who works really hard and doesn't give up. So if you are doing something for someone you love and care about or something that you really love to do, um, resilience talks about how we learn from all of our hard work and how all of that energy comes back for like to us. So all the work we put in, um, all the things we carry, we do for others, for ourselves, um, for the universe, all of that comes back to you. Um, and so it's just telling you to stay strong and to trust yourself. All right, lastly, we'll do a Moonology Oracle to help with emotions, Leo. Um, we did just have that full moon in Leo. Um, 
this past week. I'm actually recording it on the 28th. It's the day of the full moon. Um, I believe it was at the fullest at 2 o'clock, which would have made it um, about an hour and a half ago. So um, it is possible that you are feeling this energy um, from that release. When we release something, um, the Leo full moon release was about releasing blocks that were blocking us from reaching our purpose, the things that were in our path um, that were getting in our way. And it could be possible that that is what's happened here. You have released that. Um, you are now on your path to your purpose and you have many options here and the seven of cups um, You know that could be what it's saying if that is, you know, you're choosing your purpose. You're choosing your path is that kind of thing um, But this card flip north node step out of your comfort zone All right, Leo, it looks like you are fixing to start a new adventure all right, have a great week. Thank you so much for watching my video. And as always, if this feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.